Glory to you, Christ, our God, our hope, our glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, spirit of truth, present everywhere and fulfilling all things, treasury of blessings and source of life. Come abide in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us, Lord. Forgive our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross, protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ, our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you pieces, their armor, the trophy, invincible, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make from the community of the Orthodox, saves those whom you have called to rule, grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to the God and are truly blessed. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will the humankind. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among humankind. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among humankind. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me and multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chastise me in your wrath, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of my sins. There is no peace in my bones because of your wrath, for my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go down all the I go all the day long with sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off, and those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, let, my let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and I become stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed, give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life, and I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised, for the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my, prayer, let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead. 
like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cried to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cried to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayers shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me neighbor and friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul and everything with me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions. Who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from corruption. Who crowns you with mercy and compassion. Who satisfies your desire with good things. And your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses. The things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. And it shall no longer know its place, but the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty and strength, to do his word, so as to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, to do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, on my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, on my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts to you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Kitty Lesson, 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 Kitty Lesson. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Kitty Lesson, 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 Kitty Lesson. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Para kirio e geneto afti kesi ta masti e noftal misimon. Theos kirios ke pefonen imin e vlogi manos o erkomenos. El nonomati kirio. 
We venerate, we venerate your immaculate icon, O good Lord, and entreat you to forgive our offenses, O Christ our God. By your own choice you were pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh to deliver us whom you created from our slavery to the foe. Therefore we cry to you with gratitude. You have filled all things with joy, O our Savior, by coming to save the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, most venerable God-bearing Father, Gerasimus, God who cares for all things, manifested you on the earth, a protector of believers everywhere, and their helper who is quick to offer aid. For you remedy the ailments of both the soul and body by the grace you have. Glory to Christ who glorified you. Glory to him for your miracles. Glory to him for all the cures that he works through you. Now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. As the offspring of Trikala, the pride of Kephalonians, protector of Omalon Monastery, we extol you, O Gerasimus, who truly in this life you lived on earth as a heavenly angel of God, and therefore your precious body was counted worthy of glory and incorruption. Glory! To Christ who glorified you, glory to him who kept you from decay, glory to him who gave you to the faithful as one who sleeplessly intercedes. You gave birth, yet preserved you your virginity, you fell asleep in death, yet did not desert the world of Theodokos. You were transported to life as you are mother of life, and, and by virtue of your intercession, deliver our souls from death. Kirillation, 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 Amen. The angelic regiments of heaven truly saw your translation from the earth, O all immaculate, O holy, all extolled, blessed Mother of God, and the sacred band of disciples convened, summoned by the one who was born of you, and they escorted you as your precious body was taken to paradise. And they extolled Christ, who is the giver of life forever and to the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, appearing recently unto the universe, O wise one being in rich, in godly virtues all, you clearly proved yourself to be a bright, shining luminary, therefore celebrating you, who were placed as a firm support of the church we sing to you, and who are sparkling with gifts of grace, and we thus blessed with you as protector, honor your memory with firm. Old now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Seedless conception once preceded childbirth, and in domitian now is death without decay. This twofold miracle is seen in you only, Theotokos. Virgin Mary, how did you nurse a babe while remaining chaste? Being buried now are you emitting fragrance, O Mother of God. 
and therefore with the angel we sing to you, Rejoice, O maiden, full of grace. Oh, as if being bodiless, on earth excelling in virtue, you became a practicer of a celestial lifestyle, blessed one as an abode of the Holy Spirit. You, in turn, were glorified with the grace of healing, therefore all of us with longing, Reveal your body, divine, and get us immortal. Dawning the adornment of resplendent virtue, you, O blessed saint, receive from God the ornament of grace, and to the faithful your venerable body was given a wellspring if you sing grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have given up your soul into the hands of your God and Creator, who for us became incarnate from you, and he transported it from earth to immortal life. Thus, with due respect, we pronounce you blessed, for you alone are pure and immaculate, and as we all confess that you are truly the Theotokos, we cry aloud to Christ, to whom you have been transported. Pray that he will save our, our souls, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All the world noetically adorned in splendor, by the immaterial spirit at your august repose, in exultation cries out to you, Rejoice, O Virgin, the boast of us Christians all. Being roused by the yearning of divine love and illumined as well by the light of grace, you left all the world behind, and you followed the Master Christ, angelically completing your life as if bodiless, having in soul and body completely been purified. Thus you have received as a reward for your labors the grace to do miracles, having been God's receptacle, O God-bearing Gerasimus. Intercede with Christ our God that forgiveness of offenses be bestowed on those observing your holy memory with faith and love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You conceived God without ever being sown, incorruptly bearing him in the flesh, and now you are putting on the Spirit's new incorruption. For as you are the mother of life and the queen of all, you were transferred, O virgin, to life immaterial. Therefore you were rightly manifested as truly the cloud from which emanates the water that gives us life. O oh, blameless Mother of God, intercede with your Son and our God that forgiveness of offenses be bestowed on those who honor your holy assumption with right belief. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, that you might be justified in your words, and prevail when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins my mother bore me. For behold, you have loved truth, but hidden in secret things of your wisdom you have made clear to me. 
You shall sprinkle me with his, but I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall joyfully sing your justice. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You will not delight in whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. The Theotokos is undying in intercession. Immovable is our hope in her for protection. Neither death nor burial prevailed over her. As she is mother of life, she was removed to life by him. The Lord who lived in the ever-virgin womb. The Lord who lived in the ever-virgin womb. You have... We have received the divine imprint of your face flashing with rays of life originating radiance. As a bearer of every gift, you, the very creator, have assumed the form of your image and raised it to the archetype. For you are the only very merciful Lord. For you are the only very merciful Lord. On August 16th, we commemorate the holy martyr Theomedes. On this day, the devout saint Cheremon died in peace. On this day, we also commemorate the holy 33 martyrs from Palestine who died by the sword. On this day, we commemorate the entry of the icon of the face of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, which was not made with hands from the city of Edessa into that God-protected queen of cities, Constantinople. At the time of the earthly life of our Lord Jesus Christ, Abgar, king of Edessa, who suffered terribly from leprosy and arthritis, heard of the manifold healings wrought by Jesus. As he was unable to travel or even to show himself to his people, he sent his archivist, Ananias, to Jerusalem with a letter for Jesus, in which the ruler asked the Savior to go and heal him, suggesting that he settled in Edessa in order to escape the scheming of the Jews. He also charged Ananias, who was a skilled painter, to make a portrait of him who was said to be the Son of God. Arriving at his destination, Ananias gave the letter to the Lord, who was surrounded by a great crowd. He climbed onto a rock to have a better view of him and attempted to make a sketch, but it was impossible to catch the Savior's likeness as his face appeared to change incessantly under the effect of the inexpressible grace that flowed from it. Christ, who probes the hearts and thoughts of men, perceived Ananias' plan and desiring to show that his humanity and divinity could not be separated, satisfied his pious desire by working a great miracle. He had a small basin brought, washed his face, and dried it with a piece of linen folded in four. His features were immediately indelibly imprinted on the mandilion without the assistance of a human hand. He then gave it to Ananias with a letter for Abgar in which he explained that he had to accomplish there in Jerusalem the eternal plan of God for the salvation of mankind. But he promised him that once his mission was fulfilled, when once his mission... When once he had ascended to heaven, he would send him one of his disciples to bring him salvation of soul and body. King Abgar received Ananias with great joy and prostrated before the image of the holy face with faith and love. He was almost completely healed of his leprosy except for one small spot that remained on his forehead. After our Lord's ascension and Pentecost, the holy apostle Thaddeus was sent to Edessa and there proclaiming the good news baptized the king and a great many of the people. Emerging from the baptismal font, Abgar found himself completely healed and gave thanks to God. He showed such devotion to the icon not made with hands, the Ahiropiitos, that he had it placed in a neat in a niche where there had earlier been an idol above the principal gate of the town with the inscription, O Christ our God, may none who hope in you ever know adversity. And all who went into the town had to do it reverent. Thus it was throughout Abgar's reign and that of his son, but when his grandson came to the throne, he vowed to return the people to paganism and planned to, to destroy the icon. Warned of this intention in a vision, the bishop of Edessa had the niche where the image stood blocked up, having placed a lighted lamp in front of it. Many years passed, and although the kingdom once again became Christian, the icon's existence was forgotten. When Khosroi, king of Persia, laid siege to the town in 544, throwing all the people into a panic, 
Evlalios, the bishop at the time, had a vision revealing to him the place where the Lord's icon was concealed. And the people were victorious through its power. The bishop had the cavity opened and to his great surprise found not only that the undamaged icon was there, but that after so many years, the lamp in front of it was still alight. In addition, he found an exact copy of the image of the holy face imprinted on the bricks that closed the cavity. The people assembling in haste formed a long procession bearing aloft the two trophies amid a great tumult which inspired fear in the ranks of the besiegers. And when the bishop sprinkled the people with oil from the vigil lamp, it was transformed into a burning fire that drove the Persians away. Falling into the hands of the Persians some years later and then recaptured by Emperor Heraclius in 628, the town of Edessa was quickly conquered by the Arabs. The Christian army having retaken it, Emperor Romanos Lecapenos did not delay in translating the Holy Mandilion and Adgar's letters to Constantinople. On the 15th of August in 944, welcomed by an immense crowd, the holy image, the prototype of all Christian icons, was first placed in the Vlachrini Church and then the next day in Hagia Sophia. It was taken from there to the Church of the Mother of God of the Lighthouse in the palace enclosure for the protection of the Queen of Cities and of all the people. On this day we remember God's immense and unsurpassed love for mankind, which he demonstrated when he routed and put to shame the godless Ahagarines by the mediation of our all holy lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. On this day we remember when the water of the life-giving spring stopped and thence began to flow again. On this day we also remember when at, at that time our humane God delivered us against all hope from the threat of earthquake, which was fearful and yet tempered by t tender mercy. On this day we commemorate our devout father, St. Gerasimus, the new ascetic from the island of Kefalonia. Our Holy Father Gerasimus came from the Peloponnese. In his youth, his devout parents put him to the study of sacred literature in which he showed outstanding ability. As a young man, he left home for the island of Zakynthos and traveled thence all over Greece. From Thessaly, he made his way to the Black Sea, to Constantinople, to Propontos, and Chalcedon. Everywhere he went, he sought out men who, being perfect in the ascetic life, could teach him the art of arts and the science of sciences. He arrived at last on Mount Athos, where he gathered nectar from all the flowers of the virtues that he found flourishing among the many ascetics he visited, in order to produce within himself the honey of purity of heart. He spent a good, while, a good while on Athos among the servants of the Mother of God. He received the great angelic habit there and was devoted to the practice of all the virtues of the monastic life, perpetual fasting, all night vigils, tears, the elevation of the intellect, tending to God in Isichia, in purity of heart. After some years, he went on pilgrimage to the holy places. At Jerusalem, he was ordained subdeacon, deacon, and priest by the patriarch Germanus between the year 1537 and 1579. After one year serving at the holy sepulcher, he spent the following 12 years in service of the patriarch, but never slackened in his ascetic struggles. On one occasion, he went into the Jordan Desert and spent 40 days in fasting and prayer as the Savior did. Then he went back to serve the patriarch as before. Eventually, he left Jerusalem and continued his pilgrimage. He lived for a time at Mount Sinai, then at Alexandria, and traveled widely in Egypt. After that, he passed on to Antioch and Damascus, took ship to Crete, and returned finally to Zakynthos. He settled there in a remote cave where, lacking bread and salt, he lived on nothing but a few vegetables. Despite his sequestered life, he was soon discovered by the faithful, and many came to receive his blessing and spiritual counsel. St. Gerasimus was well aware of the saying of the Holy Fathers that nothing is as perilous for a monk as the praise and esteem of men, and so he decided to look for another hiding place. He found a little cave on the island of Kefalonia where he stayed for about six years. But just as a shining lamp cannot be hid, there also the virtue of the saint came to light, and the faithful did not leave him to converse alone with the one God. Divine providence led him to a place called Omala, somewhere on the island where there was a little church and a miraculous icon. Here God made him known, here God made him know for a certainty that the time had come to accept disciples. Twenty-five young women came asking to asking him to take them under his spiritual direction and to transform the little church into a monastery. He saw, therefore, that he must give up the way of life he preferred above all others for the sake of sharing with his disciples the graces and spiritual experience that he had received in full measure from the Lord. The monastery was called New Jerusalem, and those who dwelt there seemed as angels in the flesh. St. Gerasimus lived to be very old and was forewarned of the day of his death. He gathered about him all his spiritual daughters, gave them his final counsels, blessed them, and with joy and in great peace gave up his soul into the hands of the Lord, of his Lord and God. He died in 1579 on the feast of the Chemesis, the Domitian, the falling asleep of the Mother of God. His memory is kept on October 20th, being the day of the translation of his relics. 
Until the present day, the body of St. Gerasimus remains complete and incorrupt as if he were asleep. It distills a heavenly fragrance and works many miracles. The saint has become the patron of the island of Kefalonia, the protector of all the inhabitants and their powerful intercession before God. Particularly, particularly notable is his power to deliver the possessed who are brought from all quarters into the presence of his relics. The preservation of orthodoxy in Kefalonia, in spite of many centuries of Italian occupation, is due to the intercession of St. Gerasimus. The holy new martyr Stamatius of Volos, who witnessed in Constantinople in the year, 15, in the year 1680, died by the sword. Our devout father, St. Timothy, Archbishop of Evripos, the founder of the holy monastery of Pendeli, reposed in peace. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 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 Adorned with glory, divine, O Virgin, is your most sacred and illustrious memorial, gathering the faithful all together joyfully to sing in processions led by Maria with timbrels and dancing to your only begotten Son, for he has been greatly glorified. O wisdom of our God and his power that has created and is sustaining the universe, reinforce your church of Christ, preserving her unshaken and unmoved. For you alone are holy, O Lord, and you repose in your holy ones. Sayings of the prophets and mysteries revealed your incarnation from a virgin mystically, O Christ, that your lightning's brightness as light for Gentiles would emanate. The abyss calls out to you with the voice of gladness, to your power be glory, O lover of man. O Christ, I shall tell of your virtues and of their beauty divine and ineffable. As co-eternal and hypostatic radiance, you shone from glory eternal and coming forth. Incarnate from the virgin's womb, you have risen as a sun on those in darkness and in the shadow of death. Briny and born of the deep, the fire in the maw of the whale was a prefiguring of your three-day-long burial. Oh, and of this figure was John the interpreter, for preserved unscathed as before he was swallowed up, he cried out, I shall sacrifice to you with the voice of praise, O Lord. Counterposed against audacious ire and the furnace's fire, the love for God made the fire cool as dew while the ire it derided, counteracting in the midst of flames, the musical organs with the three-toned rational, God-inspired lyre, the three holy servants chanting, O Lord our God, you are glorified, O God of our fathers, you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Unto the servants in the furnace, God's almighty angel showed a flame, burning the impious, but the saints cooling as with dew into a life-welling fountain. He has made the Theotokos, gushing destruction upon death, but life to those who sing the hymn. We who have been redeemed chant in praise of the only Creator, exalting him supremely unto all the ages. Megalimni psychi mo don kirio ng kigalie sa to pne mo mo epi to theo to sutiri mo. Kin 
Τιμιότεραν των κερουδίμ και ενδοξότερα να συγκρίτω στον Σεραφείμ. Την άδεια φόρο θεών λόγων δεκούσαν. Την όντω θεό τόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, and for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater, beyond compare than the seraphim, you without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and I truly theotokos you do we magnify. O die pisemi megalina odinatos, ke agion to onoma aftu, και το έλεος αυτού εις γενεάν και γενεάν της φοβουμένης αυτού. Την τιμιότεραν των χερουβείμ και ενδοξότεραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείμ την άδεια φόρος θεολόγων δεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the pride and the imagination of their hearts, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and a truly theodokos you do we magnify. Kathila the Nascus of a throne on Kipsus the Tavinus, Κοινώντας εν έπλησεν αγαθόν και πλουτώνας εξ απέστειλε κενούς την τιμιότεραν των χερουβείμ και ενδοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείμ την άδεια φόρος θεολόγων δεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has helped us in Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to Abraham and to his seed forever, greater, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and a truly theotokos you do we magnify. Now all generations call you blessed, the only Theotokos. In you the laws of nature are defeated, O undefiled virgin pure, in virginity childbirth was accomplished, and death introduces life. You after bearing are virgin, and after dying are living, Mother of God, ever save your inheritance. <laughs> When the distinguished apostles were brought on clouds and assembled, they dutifully buried the mother of Christ, the Master. The Savior was also present with a great host of the O company of monastics and the assembly of the priests, with songs and hymns let us honor, to gather with all who love our feasts, divine Gerasimus gaily, as our newly founded glory.
Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to you. With for his mighty acts, praise him when according to the abundance of his greatness. With what I shall we who are born of earth look upon your image, which the armies of the angels cannot look at without fear as it blazes with divine light. For it depart today from the land of unbelievers, and by divine decree comes to dwell in the queen of cities, and among a people of true religion. At its entry, kings rejoice, O Christ, falling down before it. With fear and with faith. Praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. With what hand shall we creatures of dust touch your image, O Lord? We who are stained by false touch, you are sinless God. We who live in filth touch you the unapproachable. The cherubim tremble and hide their gaze. The seraphim cannot bear to see your glory. Creation serves you with fear. Do not then condemn us, O Christ, who unworthily greet from faith your dread appearance. Love, praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. O godly Father, get us him as you have been lately bestowed as a gift of angelic life and established as the boast of ascetics in recent times. You are the newly acquired and adorned monastic treasure, and thus do you invite everyone to extol all your wondrous miracles therefore preserve those of us who celebrate your sacred memory praise him with resounding symbols praise him with triumphant symbols let everything that breathes praise the lord Venerable Father, yet Asimus in perils we always have. You as our zealous guardian and an advocate before our Creator who loves mankind. We now implore you as we all stand around your sacred miracle emanating corpse. Hasten, O Holy One, from adversities and tribulations, O oh, rescue us who every day beseech you fervently. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy She who is higher than the heavens and more glorious than the cherubim and is held in greater honor than all creation. 
she who for surpassing purity became the vessel of the eternal ascent, today commits her a holy soul into the hands of her son, along with her the universe is filled with joy, and to us is given the great mercy. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Sing people everywhere, sing to the mother of our God. Today she commits her soul full of life into the immaculate hands of him who became incarnate of her without sin. And now she intercedes that he grant to the universe Peace and great mercy. See, looks like, see, looks, uh, to you is due glory, Lord our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will to humankind. We praise you, we bless you, we glorify you, we worship you, we give you praise for your great glory, O Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, O Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world. To you is due glory, O Lord our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God on the highest, and on earth, peace, good will to humankind. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever, even unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have fled to you for refuge. Teach, you, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. O oh, continue in your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may be kept to this day without sin. And blessed are you, O oh Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O oh Lord, be upon us even as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, Master, make me to understand your statutes. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. O oh Lord, your mercy endures forever. Do not turn away from the work of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs song, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Lord of mercy, 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 Kitty Lays and 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 Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Lord, make firm the holy and blameless faith of pious and orthodox Christians together with this holy church in this city and to the ages of ages, amen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim of Bianca, be glorious in the seraphim and without corruption you give birth to God, the word who magnify the true Theotokos. Kyrileson, Kyrileson, Kyrileson. Leof kondona hion vaternimon, Kyria Iesu Christa Theosimon, Eleison Gesos.